Now let's look at error graphing. So I will apply it and again. Again, this file you can get it from the G file on the web. Uh, volume milling, okay, graph error, and the parameters is here. Uh, but step three, size at four, and what I'm going to explain is this one. A uh, cutting mode, okay. Normally in parallel cut we use uh, mix. If you use climb, that there, uh, there will be a lot of jumping. So the best is mix plus uh, climb at the final pass. Okay, the final pass is the pass that uh, cut away all the scallop uh, left behind and 3 mm and again side step uh, normally if you choose parallel cut uh, most of the time you want to use uh, maybe 70% of the cut the diameter as a side step and mil and zero uh, final part is always on this will help to clean up all the scatter that left behind and the margin for the uh, final pass Okay, margin means that uh, if I put one mm uh, uh, the final pass, the minimum of material that the, the two will cut is uh, one mm. Okay, and you can also choose user define specify your own value. Okay, but uh, my suggestion is don't put zero. Okay, never put zero because if you put zero when the cutter cut the scallop. Uh, it will be, the minimum uh, material cut is zero and the cutter will become a uh, vibrate okay vibrate after loose contact to the uh, material okay so don't ever put zero put something yeah the best just choose uh, optimize okay and then calculate Here's a result. Let's simulate. Okay. You can see after a rough, it will cut the wall again to clean up all the scallop left behind. So this is parallel roughing. Yeah, of course, in case the, the cutter need to plunge in, if the cutter cannot plunge outside, need to plunge inside, the cutter will do a ramping motion. And this ramping motion uh, is controlled by this entry options here. Uh, entry, okay. Ramp angle, okay. So by default, the cutter will come in from outside of the materials, but in some cases, uh, for example, if there's a hole, the tools have to punch into the material, then it will use this ram angle to punch into the materials. So this is the parallel cut. Uh, there's another type of uh, parallel cut. Uh, let's copy and paste uh, Z cut. Okay, let's delete this. I will apply another template for the jet cut. Uh, let's go here. Okay, jet cut. This is a legacy uh, procedures. Okay, and this voluming volume milling z cut is under the legal sequence here z cut okay parallel and the cutter that i'm using now is a ball ball nose pen okay sometimes if you want to cut some um, plastic part or wood okay you, you can use this functions uh, okay the Parameter is almost same as the rough parallel. 
first make sure you choose the face approach is the tangents. Yeah, the the rest is almost the same. And ah, this is this is a legal C function. You have to specify from where you wanna cut to where you wanna cut the bottoms and the downside. Okay, in this case, I'm using a one D, one D. This is sometimes is normal if you cut a plastic, some sort of plastic or wood. Yeah, size set maybe I put into forty percent. I'm setting a by directions and on surface. What is on surface later on you will see. And I'm gonna mill at forty five uh, degree angle. So and next upper geometry. Yeah, and for this legacy function to work, you have to define the geometry. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this contour and select. Uh, out and select this control here and let's calculate and let's simulate okay this is how it works let's change the directions okay so, so uh, sometimes you might cutting some woods of plastic uh, this is true especially in pro prototype prototype that means uh, what you want is a cut with a depth of cut of 1D or 1.5D and, and also cut the uh, remove away all the steps okay just do a simple roughing a quick roughing skip all the semi finishing process after this roughing, then you can go for finish. Uh, uh, this is so. My, this is uh, uh, only for those uh, material that is very easy to cut. Yeah. As you can see here, after this roughing, uh, there's no more steps that you need to clean before you apply the finishing process.